Hello and welcome to this video. This video is going to show you uh, a design being machined out of a, uh, a sheet of birch plywood. Um, this is the design here, image design made in Ireland. Uh, if I just show it. The black areas there is which is going to be machined out of the actual birch plywood. Uh, and then it's going to be actually it's going to be burnt into uh, by the client. We're just going to machine out this pocket of the area here where you can see all in black, and I'll leave this sitting up proud and under the sheet. So we'll have it all designed and it's ready to be machined. So we now once that's done, we bring it into our CAM software. That's our CAD software there. Now we bring it into our CAM software. And now we have to add our tool pass for it. The tool pass is what drives the CNC router uh, to machine the actual design. So the first thing to do with machining birch plywood, uh, because it's a wood, um, it's very important to use the right kind of tuning in it uh, and cut it in the right sort of direction. Uh, if you do not do this, what happens is you can tear the fibres off the birch plywood and it leaves you a very bad edge uh, on the top of the surface, which which is not something we would be doing. Um, so it's very important to pay close attention to the parameters of how you actually machine a, a plywood. Um, so because this is the only area you're really going to machine is just like the, that thumbprint as such, uh, and then we're just going to machine out the two edges uh, of the sheet. Um, so first thing we need to do is we will contour the the outside of the the pocket here first, and then we will clean out all the area in the inside of it. So first things to do is to select all of the, the area that we want machined, which is like that and highlight it, and then we go to our toolpath commands and we now tell how we how we would like the machine on the CNC router. So basically we've selected all the design, we're going to machine into the depth of the, the board is 25mm uh, birch plywood we're using. We're going to machine into it eight millimeters. We're going to use a special kind of downward spiral uh, single fluted cutter. Uh, that'll leave us with a nice clean edge the whole way around all of the design. Uh, and then we'll come in with a larger tool at the, after that's finished and then machine out that area. Uh, so it's like a big pocket basically. So we've set up all the tooling. Um, it's a 3 mil tool and all the parameters for that tool itself has been set up properly. Um, the orientation of what it's going to be machined has been set to a convention milling. Uh, which is important as well. So we now just generate the tool path uh, for the machine. Well, it takes a few seconds to get that sorted out. Okay, that's the tool path generated. So if you zoom right in on a part of the design, you can see that piece there in pink that I've highlighted, that's the actual design. And the inside line there, which I've now selected, that is the actual line for the tool. Now this, that is the data that the machine will use to follow. Um, so that's okay, so what we would do is at this stage we would save that file. Uh, let's call it fingerprint small. Okay, we save that. And the next thing we do is we send it to the machine for machining. And then whenever we get that set up, we take it out of the machine and then start machining. 